Hi, and welcome to part two of this PowerShell tutorial series for making GUIs in PowerShell. In the last video, we made this um, quite simple uh, GUI form, which basically just says, hello world. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding a button to this form. So we're going to be using the code from the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, I will be posting a, a link to it in the description. Um, so make sure that you watch that video and then you can start on this video because we will be using our code right from the end of that last video in this one. And we're just going to be building on top of it. Um, if you haven't watched any of the PowerShell tutorial series that I've made in the past, I would at least recommend going through the beginner tutorial series, which I will be linking the beginner and the intermediate tutorial series in the description as well. So let's go ahead and let's get started in adding a button and adding some functionality to that button. So we have our code here and we have a form object and a label object. So as you might have guessed, we need to add a button object. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a button object here. And we're going to do that equals to a open and close square bracket system dot windows dot forms dot button. All right. And now what we're going to do is we are going to add our button. And what we're going to first do is we're just going to remove the text on our label title here, actually. We're going to keep the text there for now uh, just for the placement of the button because having the text there will definitely help us just get that button placed just right. Um, so let's do button hello equals new object button object. And then what we're going to do, as you've guessed it, as we did in the last video, we're just going to run this. And we're going to do button hello dot text. And we're going to set this to say hello. And then we are going to do the auto size once again to true. And then we are going to go ahead and we are just going to put the location to new object system dot drawing dot point. So what we're going to want to do is we want it to be like right in the middle of the hello world label. So let's do 150 and let's do 150 again and see how that looks like. And we're just going to add it into our array to place it in. So let's see what this looks like now. So we do see our little button. It is a little bit hidden. So if we just zoom in here for you guys, so you can see it's just a little bit hidden and not quite to the center. So we just got to make a few little changes here. So let's do um, 175 and let's do 180 here. See what that looks like. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's move it a little bit more. So let's do 185. I think that that looks pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change the text in our button here. So let's do button hello dot font. We're going to set that to a Moderna. And we're just going to make it uh, size um, 14. We're not going to put any style on it. Um, there you go. That looks a little bit better. And we can actually probably move it back to 175. So once again, like in PowerShell, because you can't see the form until you launch it, it's kind of a, just a little bit of playing around with it at first. So as we can see, when we click our button, nothing really happens. So we need to add a functionality to the button. So what we want to do is before the show dialog, so 
once the show dialog goes, it kind of hangs on this till we close it and then we dispose of it. So what we're going to what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a logic section or functions and then we're going to do add the functions to the form. So we want to first create our function here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do a function and let's do function say hello and all of this is going to do is label title dot text equals hello world Actually, what we're going to say is if label title dot text equals blank, then we do this. And then else we will do. That it goes blank here. Perfect. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add this function to the clicking of the button hello. So what we want to do is button hello. And what we're going to want to do now, this is a little bit confusing because if I do this, there's no function that comes up. But this is actually the method that we want to do. So we want to do an add click. And then in here, we're going to put a script block. Because we've seen script blocks in our tutorials. And we're going to do say hello. Now you could just do like a, you could simply just put this in there. But I like to do it a function. So you can always change the function later on. It's very, very easy. And if you use that function anywhere else in your code, at least it's changed everywhere. So I think that that should be good here. So let's run that. And there we are. So when we click on the button and the text is there, it disappears. If the text's not there, it reappears. So that is awesome. So that's pretty much all you really need to know on how to add. So we've added our control, we've added our button, we've created our function, and we've added that function to our button. Now, the add click um, function isn't visible, like I said. Now, there's a lot of documentation that you can find online to see what it would be. Um, I always reference back to like the C sharp code um, because this is all really C sharp um, coding techniques and it uses the WPF from C sharp. Um, so for like a combo box, um, it's like a selected index change function you would be able to add. Um, for a button, it's a click. So there's a bunch of those that you can easily find online. We're going to be doing tons of them in this tutorial. Um, I'm trying, going to try to cover all the basic form components that you would use in a production environment or at home. So that is pretty much it for this video here. We didn't do a whole lot in this video. We really used the code from the last video. All we did was add a button and add some functionality to that button. I would suggest play around with that. Uh, maybe add like multiple buttons, maybe add a button to change the color of the font or the color of the background, um, because you can always change the color of the font too. Um, let's do that here real quick. And let's just do label title dot. Now for the font color, it'll actually be dot four color, which is the font color. And we can just set that to red here. I just don't know what the hex code for red and if we did that, it is now red. 
So you can easily change this to by a button. You can easily change the font type, font color via a button as well. These are all different things that you could just practice to not really rely on tutorial. Uh, because I do realize that tutorial hell is definitely a very real thing. So I always try to break down my videos uh, to like a very simple uh, project and then kind of give you ideas of what to do on your own to kind of build up that skill set for the next video. So in the next video, we're going to be making that service inspector. So we're going to have a combo box. Um, now in my in the version that I showed is it kind of updated as you selected different options in the combo box. We're probably going to be working on that uh, service inspector for one or two videos for sure. Um, we're going to start off with a button to change it. And then I'm going to show you how to do it when it changes in the combo box selected index. Uh, just so you guys kind of learn all these different little tips and tricks that I kind of learned um, as I went through this as well. So make sure to like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified when that video comes out. And I will see you on the next video.